This is Twit. Daniel, you're here partially because of the maker map, but um, but I'd say even more than that, what you showed me yesterday was kind of piqued my interest, and it is it revolves around what you've called Miwa, and it's an Android open source community that's based, you say, uh, based on a hardware design project. It's probably better for you to describe it than, than for me. So what is that. Miwa all about? Uh, well, I originally started about a year ago when I was looking for... Uh, how to get my games from Android on the television. And this was prior to Chromecast coming out. Um, and since I spend most of my time in China, um, we just made a trip to Shenzhen and we went to talk to some of the design houses down mm -hmm. there. And over the last year, we've, uh, we've been really working with them, trying to come up with a solution to get, uh, you know, those products, which are very innovative, innovative, excuse me. Uh, and, uh, there's various uh, different types of processors in China, uh, different mm -hmm. sock fabricators, system on a chip. Mm -hmm. And um, we're working with uh, Rockchip, which they sold 50 million units last year. And what they have done is we have an agreement with them, which basically allows us to open their SDK, which we're doing as of tomorrow. Um, and we need a little bit of help on that with, uh, with a Git. So if there are any qualified developers out there, please uh, get me on Google Plus uh, and uh, voice your interest. And I'd love to talk to you. But uh, to the point, and this is the consideration that I spoke to you about yesterday, um, there is no certification process for these types of devices when it comes to Google. So mm -hmm. what we have is a problem with innovation that is taking place in a, in, a, in a sector, an emerging market, but you can't get it to market because it's technically illegal because there's no certification like GMS certification for uh, mobile devices because uh, the, the, the play key or what we're calling the play key, the Miwa play key, mm -hmm. is a device, an HDMI device similar to the Chromecast. And the uh, essentially, these are separate devices, and they're all coming from Shenzhen. So we're not going to necessarily say we're going to be one play key. We want to give developers the choice. So it's not just an open SDK. We're planning on designing a device with the community, the actual mm -hmm. hardware itself. This is similar to how Xiaomi has introduced their hardware in China, which has been extremely successful. And if you mm -hmm. don't know who Xiaomi is, Xiaomi is where Hugo Barra from, yeah. uh, from Google recently went over to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, have, uh, to work with them. So uh, what you're looking at right now are just some proto prototype designs for our mold that would be coming up um, potentially. But what, the reason why I'm here is to voice the concern that there needs to be a certification process for these devices. That way we're able to go through a compatibility test with Google mm -hmm. and and then be able to import these into this market. Yeah, because like you, like you told me yesterday, like smartphones, obviously you can get that certification. And Correct. what does that give you? That gives you access to all the Google apps. It gives Correct. you access to the Play Store for app distribution. Right. Uh, all that kind of thing. And they require certain things out of your device in order to get that certification. Um, and, you know, devices like these, the, the dongle uh, kind of series of devices, yes. which Google has their own solutions for, right? They have the Chromecast dongle. Um, don't don't have those kind of features that would allow it to be uh, cleared in right. those ways. So what you're talking about is a separate kind of a way to separately clear uh, just different form factors. And that, you know, when, you, when you were telling me that yesterday, I was like, you know, that's an interesting problem that I just had not considered. Like, I, I understand why Google wants to limit it on, on this form factor, on the, on the smartphone or the tablet form factor. But you're right. The Android's appearing in all of these other form factors now. Right. And uh, for all of those form factors to then be limited and eliminated from the possibility of being uh, cleared, uh, yeah, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, actually, this fails when we go through GMS certification, the, the, the compatibility test suite. You get to a point where it will fail because it doesn't have a camera or a microphone. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so it can't go through the process. So what we need is a new certification. Exactly. So Interesting. I really appreciate you letting me tell people about that. <laughs> no, I, th I, th I think it's a, a true problem. What do you think? A few things came to mind. First, for, for me, was that Google TV, right, is like the first time that we've seen an interface for Google apps on a big screen from afar. Um, and I also was thinking about Ouya a little bit, right, because that's an Android-based gaming console. Right. You know, part of me thinks, well, is the, the GMS certification doesn't cover devices like this because Google itself hasn't figured out what it expects that big screen, you know, experience to be. Um, 
And I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't, I wonder, you know, I wonder if that's about them having, I mean, even the Chromecast is just about throwing a tab really up onto the, or a video stream up onto the TV. You know, there's, there's not much of an app, like, like, like an app uh, kind of interaction the way that I imagine GMS, the GMS uh, test suite goes through. And, and also the Chromecast, is the Chromecast considered an Android device? It's kind of a, a hybrid, right? I mean, it's certainly marketed as Chrome just from the name. Um, so I, 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 I'm sorry, I don't really have a question. I've just been thinking. About, I've been thinking about how this is all connected and how this. Is, I mean, this is a very young sort of uh, sort of area uh, of hardware, I think. Um, but I love the Chromecast, and I would love to see more dongles. And I even believe the Ouya started out, from what I from what I remember hearing, kind of start out. The early prototypes were just just kind of a dongle uh, that you just plug into your TV and and use. That's correct. Yeah, I, from what I understand, it was they were uh, there were some problems early on with these devices. The the obviously because of the innovation taking place in China, not having the connection with Google, they were struggling to get stability. Mm -hmm. So these devices are stable, running uh, Jelly Bean. So it's four point two point two. They're coming out right now with KitKat, but you're going to have about six month period where it's not going to be so stable. Right. Um, and most of the apps that everybody enjoys are already on. Jelly Bean, and they work very well with it. Sure. And uh, if you haven't experienced, um, you know, Android on your television, it's a it's it's a truly remarkable experience. Uh, I know that most people think about, you know, Android on their tablets and phones, but you know, right. And and Android on TV being Google TV, which right. is a different kind of user interface. Now you have. It plugged into our HDMI, so you can kind Correct. of show off a little bit of, of what you're talking about, right? So right now what we're looking at is just a customized UI that I've done with apps from the Play Store. So, uh, th you know, obviously all of these apps are, are common to everybody. You can see it. And, of course, the Twit Pro app. But this is uh, HD Widgets, which is made by Cloud TV that I've customized. Uh, also, you know, if, if I click desktop, desk mode, it will open up Dayframe, which is like the daydream. And if you haven't seen Dayframe on your, on your HD TV, it really is beautiful. If it can load. <laughs> well, that's I blame the, our Wi-Fi. That's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it commonly wreaks havoc on the, on the uh, demonstration. Yeah, that's, well, it's just when you, whenever you give a demo, everything doesn't work. Right? Pretty much. But you got Twit Live, you've got, uh, HBO Go, Netflix, all of the popular ones, but the, the key also is that you also can have um, uh, Cheapcast, which is the same same functionality that you get in Chromecast minus Netflix and sure. HBO Go. But you're already getting Netflix and HBO Go through the app precisely. anyways. Precisely. So. And obviously Plex you can also cast as well. So, mm -hmm. But the point of Miwa, getting back to it, is to basically allow us to start having a platform that we can start creating UI and not limit that to just Google. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. device itself is, is you know, uh, ready to ship. We could have the factory just gear up and, you know, send a whole bunch here. But legally, I can't import that with the Play Store on there. Now, right. the developers might tell me that's not necessary. Let's get this thing going and we'll create our own. And that's what Ouya basically did. Mm -hmm. They created yeah. their own ecosystem and their own Play Store. But I think that, you know, Google is such a powerhouse. It would be great if we could create a certification process for this type of device. That way, you know, we can open up the innovation to other people that are trying to get into markets.